Hi guys, welcome back to Stranger Times. The new home for I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here is Grick Castle. This magnificent castle hidden away on the Welsh coast was first built in 1810, but sits on an original building site that dates back over 500 years to the 14th century. It was built by Lord Hesketh Bamford in memory of his mother, Frances Lloyd, and her ancestors. It incorporated an earlier house that had been in ownership of the Lloyd family since the late medieval period. From 1894 to 1924, Winifred Cochrane, Countess of Dundonald, owned the estate. The Countess left the castle in her will to King George V, and the then Prince of Wales. And then the castle was passed on to the Venerable Order of St. John. In 1928, Douglas Cochrane bought the castle for £78,000 and selling all the contents to meet the cost. During World War II, the castle was used to house 200 Jewish refugees. Following the war, the castle was open to the public as a visitor attraction. Is Grick Castle Haunted? Grick Castle website says that real-life ghost encounters by staff and visitors are commonplace at the castle. A castle worker said a few people have claimed to see a floating woman in white. Other people and staff have said ghosts of former caretakers have been seen around the 250-acre site. Some locals believe that the spirit of a servant girl who died falling off a horse haunts the land. A paranormal investigator told a UK newspaper that she was chased by a glowing woman wearing a red dress. She had an old fashioned dress and a white shawl. We heard an almighty scream from the ghost. It was really, really loud. We ran down to the front of the castle as quickly as we could. There was no explanation for who or what it was. The Countess's Tower The ruins are said to also be haunted by the late owner, the Countess of Dundonald. The locals know her as the Woman in White and is said to be an angry spirit because her husband stripped the castle of her valuables and sold them off. The castle's owners say that the Countess's Tower is one of the most paranormally active areas and is situated within the castle gardens. The picture that says to show the ghost of Winifred Cochrane. An East Lancashire businessman was astonished to see a ghostly figure in his photographs after downloading the images to computer. The businessman and his friend were stunned to see the ghostly vision of a woman. The castle was empty at the time of the photos. Only the businessman, his friend and the land agent were there as the businessman was looking to buy the estate. Some say that the picture could be two pictures that got mixed up while processing, but there wasn't any other pictures with people on them in the photos. He says the image haunts him to this day. Whatever ghosts and ghouls wander the castle, the contestants and future visitors of Grigg Castle will forever keep the legend alive. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit the notifications button. See you soon.